All right, the school year is coming to a close and quarantine seems to be pretty close to ending as well. It's not quite over yet, but let's go ahead and just ask a couple people how it has affected their lives. Personally, my life hasn't been affected too greatly. I mean, it kind of sucks not being able to see my friends in person and go hang out. And I may or may not have procrastinated a lot of my school assignments, but I got everything done fine and I think I've survived quite okay. My grandparents, uh, JT and Phyllis Barnes, uh, I'm going to ask them a few questions about how they've been dealing with quarantine. Well, you stay at home. <laughs> yeah, he stays at home most of the time. But I go out. I go out every single day and I wear my mask and my gloves so that I don't touch anything. And then when I get home, I wash my gloves with disinfectant and take my mask off. And we're home for the evening then. What do you do? I stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, when I go with her, I have to uh, uh, put a mask on. And then uh, when we get back home, I may able to take my mask back off and clean up and wash my hands good and uh, clean up the car where we touched everything in the car. Yeah, we do have to clean the car because the car gets dirty and if you touch anything in the car, you need to wipe it down with disinfectant. Have there been any annoyances with different businesses that may be closed that makes it harder for you to do normal things? Yes. We went to TJ Maxx and there was a line around the whole building that we could not get in. They were only letting in 10 people at a time and we didn't stay. We just, I just decided it's not worth waiting in line to get into the store, which we didn't even know what we were going to buy there, you know. So, yeah, it's just, it's been a nuisance actually. And many stores we want to go to have not opened up yet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, Belk and Macy's and all the st most of the stores at the mall have not opened. So, we're kind of stuck at home. <laughs> On average, how many times would you say you go out to places during the day? We go out every day. Usually every day we go to the grocery store, or to the post office, or to Lowe's, or somewhere. But typically just once a day. Once a day. Yeah, usually once a day. So how many times do you guys go out to eat now versus compared to before when there was no quarantine? Oh, we used to go out all the time. Every day we would go out. Either we would have lunch or have dinner out out of the house. But now, with all the restaurants closed, all we have to do is go through a drive through pick up our lunch or sandwich, come home and eat it. And it's very frustrating. Last night we went to Mac and Bob's and we bought one of these um, calzones and came home and ate it at home. But it would have been much nicer if we had stayed in the restaurant. Just, uh... We're used to going to a restaurant and eating in a restaurant, and now we just drive around and see who has the shortest line of cars <laughs> yeah. to stop there. But then I have to come home and have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because we won't stay in that line. Today we stopped at Wendy's, and there must have been 10 cars in line. So we just decided to come home and have soup and a sandwich. And there's six yeah. cars behind us. Yeah, and six cars behind us. So we just wouldn't wait in line. We decided to come home and have soup and peanut, he had a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. So how has quarantine affected your life? <laughs> I mean, it hasn't really affected my social life too much. 
because I was never really a social person. Yeah, yeah, we have all those interviews about quarantine and how it was for everybody. But much more importantly, the potatoes grew quite nicely. Got a few rows. Third row is, is getting there. Those are the sad ones that were planted. So we'll get there eventually, and they're growing great. That's by far the most important thing that's happened this quarantine. That's it.